So the ability to, to identify such cells and demonstrate that our, our process is very specific in terms of elimination of anti-host cells uh, not having Afrosos host disease uh, activity and preserving antiviral and anti-leukemia is extremely interesting. And the reason is we're now taking this into a phase three clinical trial. So we have actually started to transplant, to do transplant in patients uh, who undergo haploidentical transplant with two different modalities. One is to use a T cell depleted stem cell graft and add back T cells that are uh, exactly performing what I'm telling you, which is antiviral, anti-leukemia activity and accelerating the immune recovery. And we are comparing that to another arm, uh, which is using chemotherapy to actually remove the cells that cause graft versus host disease. And this process is currently uh, widely used uh, around the planet. And we are going to compare both strategies in a prospective, randomized, international trial perform uh, both in Europe, in Canada, and the United States. So that's extremely exciting, and I think that it will give very important data on how to treat patients uh, with these deadly diseases such as acute leukemia, myelodysplastic syndrome, who don't have a family uh, donor to, to go ahead with a transplant.